So as you can tell, I'm filming this video in Lily's room and that's because there's nowhere in my house I can actually film this video at the moment because our filming room has been turned into a guest bedroom. So basically I couldn't film in my room because it's really messy so I had to find a space and Lily's room will do. She has really good lighting. But today's video is going to be a back to school video. In Australia people are going to be going back to school very soon because we've just had our really long summer Christmas holidays and I'm sure a lot of you guys have just had your Christmas holidays and have just gone back to school so hopefully this is helpful for all of you. So I'm going to show you four ways to DIY a binder or a folder and I'm so happy with how they all turned out. These are all of them. I actually had so much fun making them as well. I haven't done anything crafty in a really long time so this is really fun. So let me know if you guys want to recreate any of them and if you do make sure to take a photo and tag me in it so I can see them all. So I think binders are an absolute essential for school because you get given so many loose pieces of paper that you have no idea where to put. So binders are a really great way to store those pieces of paper especially when you personalize them yourself. So I'm going to show you how I personalize mine. So I should start off by saying that all the folders that I use in this video are by Avery and I love love Avery products because they're such good quality and these folders are amazing. They're super durable and they just feel really nice and tough and that they all have a really long wear. The plastic on the front of the folder feels really nice and thick and durable and it would really protect anything that's underneath it like this weekly planner. And also the plastic sleeves on the inside are really good quality and also quite thick so it will protect your sheets really well. So I guess we'll just start off talking about this planner since I'm holding it up already. So this is my weekly planner folder that I made and I thought this was a really cool idea. So basically what I decided to do was create almost like a whiteboard in a folder so you can write your to-do list and then you can wipe it off and then write it for the next week. So I pretty much just googled weekly planners and I found this one which is actually bi-weekly which it means it's got two weeks which is perfect so then you can get really organized. It's also got these little boxes at the top so you can tick when you've done your work and stuff. Um, I wrote really random things in these boxes because I couldn't think of examples of homework so please excuse that. But I feel like this looks really pretty as well. So the way that I turned it into a whiteboard was by actually putting the sheet in a plastic sleeve. And that means that you can write on it and then wipe it off. And it works really, really well. Although I would recommend getting a better whiteboard marker than I had. Because I just used one that I had lying around the house. And it didn't really work very well because it was really old. So just get a really nice thin one that you can write in the lines. And it will be so great. The next folder that I have to share with you guys is this one. It's my vision board motivation inspiration folder. I had so much fun making this folder so basically the idea behind it was to get lots of photos and quotes that would really inspire you when you're at school so you can look over at your folder and it will motivate you to carry on doing your work so I've got quotes like nothing is impossible the word itself says I'm possible Audrey Hepburn I've got only you can control your future Dr. Seuss um, I've got a year from now, your wish you'd started today. I've also got some really pretty photos on here, which I feel like will really lift your mood and also inspire you. So I think this is Bora Bora. I've also got a dolphin, a sunset, and someone meditating, you know, to keep you calm. I've also got a little A plus up here to motivate you to do your best at school. And I've also got a photo here of people throwing their graduation hats in the air. And that's just to motivate you to keep on going and get to the end of finishing school or university or whatever. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. I feel like it could really lift your mood. Basically, all that I had to do was Google inspirational quotes and just inspirational photos. Then I picked the ones that I liked and dragged them into Word and made them really small and printed them out and cut them out and then just stuck them on a piece of cardboard. And then I just slid it into the folder and that's it. Now I've got my DIY Polaroid inspired folder to share with you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not super similar to a Polaroid, but it is inspired by it. So this one was really easy as well. All that you're going to need is some glue, some scissors, some paper, some cardboard, some ribbon, and I think that's about it. It's super easy. All that I did was go on my Instagram and I chose a few photos that I liked, and then I made sure that they were square because Polaroids are always square, and then I just dragged them into Word again and made them mini sizes. And once I printed them out, what I did was just cut a little bit of a white border around them, kind of like what Polaroids have. Then I just got some purple ribbon and I stuck them on a piece of cardboard, measured it out. And then all I did to complete it was stick the photos on, on an angle, which I think gives it a really cool effect. And I went in a different direction for each one, but I really like how it's turned out. And my last folder I have to share with you guys is for people who like things quite simple and can't be bothered to do the DIY, but still want their folders to look quite pretty. So the way that I created this was by going on PicMonkey, which is kind of like a version of Photoshop, which is really easy. Actually, it's not too similar to Photoshop. It's it's way too easy to use and it's so much fun. It's basically a photo editing website 
And before I went on there, I actually googled cute backgrounds and I found this really pretty one and I made sure that it was A4 size so that it would fit inside my folder. I then just saved that image to my desktop and then opened it in PicMonkey and then I edited it on there. So all that I did was choose a font that I liked and type my name and a subject and then just put it in large and then I just printed it out and slid it in so it was really really easy. I also think it's great to add an organisational touch to your folders because obviously you want them to be organised because then they're functional. So I have these permanent multi-purpose labels by Avery. This allows you to create your own labels and you can write whatever you want on them. I just wrote my name on them obviously because you don't want to lose your folder. So you just have to take the sheet that comes in these packets and lay it in your printer but make sure the sticky side is facing downwards on its face if that makes sense. You can then just go on the Avery website and go on averyproducts.com.au slash template and then you can look up the template for this specific packet. So to make things easy you can just type in the little code here down at the bottom so that you can find the template without having to search for it for ages and then it comes up and all you need to do is download the template which is super easy. Then it comes up in your Word document. So at first when your Word document opens you'll probably think that the template's not there because it looks like nothing's there but when you click this little icon you can see the outline of the template and you just have to work around that to figure out where to write your name or whatever you want for your label. So I just wrote Ella Jones over and over again because that's my name. A lot of you guys are probably thinking Ella Jones, I've never heard of that before but that is actually my name. Victoria is my middle name although I know a lot of you guys think Victoria is my last name. So once you finish writing on your template all you have to do is print it out and it'll print out onto the stickers and then you can just peel them off and add them onto your folder just like this. I also think it would be cool just to print out your subject names as well. I feel like that could be really useful. Another thing that I would do to organize your folder is use some white printable tabbies. These ones are by Avery as well. I've actually taken them out of the packet but this is what the front looked like. So these are what the tabbies look like. I think they're really helpful if you have multiple subjects in one folder and you need to divide it off or even if you just have separate topics for one subject then you can just section off each topic. So these are also really fun and easy to make. All that you have to do is go on the Avery website. So again it's averyproducts.com .au templates and then you just have to type in the little code that we have at the bottom here and then your template should come up and you download it and it'll pop up and then you write in whatever you like and then print it out. So cool that you can make your own labels and your own tabbies and stuff yourself just by putting them through a printer. I've never done anything like this before but I feel like it's a great way to organize your folders. So they are the four DIY folders that I've come up with. I really hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. I haven't done a DIY video in like a really really long time so it was really fun. I kind of like the crafty side. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you'd like me to do any more back to school videos and if you have any suggestions because I can definitely do that but I hope you guys try out these folders if you do make sure to tag me because I'd love to see your recreations and yeah good luck with going back to school and everything I hope you guys who are at school are having a great time and I'll see you guys in my next video bye